Hey guys and girls, welcome to your 15th HTML Canvas tutorial, which is a part of uh, our HTML5 and CSS3 tutorial series by ifectioner.com. And in this ifectioner.com uh, mini video tutorial series, we are discussing about drawing images on our canvas. Uh, I am using right now Notepad++ to do all the coding and you can download the free version of Notepad++ from their website. In Notepad++, I open a new file by clicking on File menu and selecting the new command and then I click on File menu and click on save as command and uh, I save my file I give a name to my file let it be canvas images because we would be drawing images on our canvas and I select save as type hypertext markup language and save my file so I need to tell my browser that uh, this is an HTML5 compliant web page. So I type doc type HTML and then we know that uh, our HTML or HTML document whatever you would like to say has got the HTML tag or HTML tag and we close it with HTML and our HTML document has got two main components our head tag which uh, includes the title and meta tags for our document or web page and our body tag which contains the main com contents of our web page so I introduce both of these tags and you need to close those tags with slash and your tag name and the greater than sign and in the head tag I use the title tag and I give a title of images on canvas to my page and save my document and now we have got uh, an HTML5 page and we would like to introduce a canvas tag on our page to do that I use the canvas tag and close it with slash canvas tag within the starting and the ending tag for the canvas I can type uh, a message for those users who do not have the latest version of the browser which supports the canvas tag so we can say that please get a new browser for those people who cannot see our canvas tag and uh, we need to give uh, uh, we need to define the properties uh, of our canvas tag and uh, I would like uh, to give an ID to my canvas tag and I name it as uh, or I give an ID of new canvas and I want uh, my canvas to be 500 pixels in width and 500 pic or 400 pixels in width and 400 pixels in height so I write width equals to 400 pixels I will just uh, zoom out uh, my view so we can easily see all the typing and I say that the height of my canvas is also 400 pixels I save my page I click on the run, run menu and select launch in Chrome command because I am using Chrome as my browser 
and we see that we cannot see anything on our web page we cannot see differentiate between our canvas and our body to do to differentiate uh, between our body and our canvas I would like the background color of my canvas to be yellow and the margins I would set the mar margins of my canvas to 10 pixels from all side and I want its uh, border property to be black in color with solid lines and 10 or 5 pixels lines width to do that I would be using an inline style property so in my canvas tag I write style equals to start it with the double quote and end it with a double quote and within these double quotes I can write my or I can set the properties for my canvas so I select the background property I say that the background color should be yellow and for border property I would like to set 4 pixels solid black values and I would also like my margin settings for my canvas tag to be 10 pixels from each side and I end each of my quote with a semicolon symbol and that's it I click on the save button and go to my chrome browser if click on the reload this page button oh, this is the older file I click on my page reload button and I see that now I can see my canvas with a 10 pic uh, pixels margin on each side and a solid black borderline and to, to make things easier for us we will introduce a logo.jpg file in our file in our web page it is not necessary to do so but we want to differentiate uh, between the original size and the size we will be drawing on our canvas therefore I have already saved an, a logo.jpg file in the same directory and uh, if you would like to use the same files then you can download the code and the logo file from ifactioner.com I use the image tag and give it the source and you can use uh, uh, a web source or you can use uh, the directory name plus the logo name or the image name but because my logo is in the same directory I just give logo.jpg as its source name and end it with slash tag so and after that I give a line break so there is a line break between my logo and my canvas I save my file go to my chrome browser refresh it and I think there is no file with name logo.jpg in my directory and I know that there might be a file uh, in in the directory above this therefore I use dot dot slash and I click on the save button and now I see that now I have given the right uh, source name for my logo.jpg file and it appears on my browser uh, in the next tutorial we will be using the script tag and we will be drawing this logo on our canvas so jo please join me in the next tutorial take care bye bye